Okay, I'm probably gonna get a strike on my channel for this, but I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna monetize this. But for fuck's sake, stop giving money to an addict in active addiction. What in the actual fuck is wrong with you people? There have been how many people for one solid year showing that you know who has all of her bills paid. I exposed it four months in that she has full SSDI and food stamps. She doesn't pay for any bills. She has no bills and alimony on top of her SSDI. Okay? I have said this all. How many communities have been torn apart? How many people who had channels that are all now down because half of the people wanted to sit there and defend this bitch while she's scamming everybody? And now friendships are torn apart, channels are down, people are hurt, and she's sitting there laughing all the way to the bank. This is a woman who abused a man to put her in the situation that she's in. She abused a veteran and is now exploiting him to what end? Going and telling his friends that he fucked her out of alimony. Probably the same friends that she lied and said he, that ETN hit her and everything when she put false domestic violence charges on him to ruin the end of his fucking career. How many people want to stand for a woman who gets money by selling other people's pussies. That's what she did. Running girls. She's a pimp. She lost custody of her kids because she put them in the closet and took a thing of gas and a lighter and threatened to blow them up if she didn't get what she wanted from somebody, which was most likely money. I have two versions of the story for what she was asking for. So if she doesn't get money, she threatens to kill children and she actively hurts a dog on live YouTube. If you don't care for the dog, do you care about the children? Do you care about the veterans? To what end does this woman stop? I saw her using her food stamps when she went into the grocery store, what, eight months ago? And started some fuck shit at the counter? Yeah, and her EBT food stamp shit fell out. I said then, she has food stamps. Okay? I know you guys don't know me. I know that you don't know what people in my real life know about me. So, you maybe didn't understand that there are people who have said that they need to literally write on their forehead when they wake up, never fuck with me. Okay? It is because of what I'm capable of doing because I find ways of exposing the truth in ways that other people have not been able to. When I get doxxed, and I surely will, I'll be able to explain a little bit more about that. But for you, Michelle, listening, you're the one who said that you want to have a Lifetime movie written about you and everything. Bitch, they did one on me. All of the rights to my story and what I've done because I, I have done shit are held by Lifetime Movie Network. And that's all I'm going to say. And it wasn't because I played the victim. It's because I played the victor. And I have taken this world and made it a better place for my legacy. And I wish that you could say that you didn't have such a shit legacy for all that you've done. But thank God you are stupid enough to run your mouth on social media. You may have money, but you have no morals. You have nothing. You are a lonely woman and you will always be one because of the way that you have mistreated your children who loved you. How can you dare to scam and say you need food when you have kids out there that you didn't, you didn't provide for? When you let other women get money for selling their pussy and they gave you a cut of it? This is so disgusting, you vile piece of shit. To sit there and exploit your husband's friend when his wife was dying 
by taking all of the attention from your friend group to you and posing as ETN to say that you were life flighted and you're on a ventilator and oh, we've got to just pray and hope that she stays in there, hangs in there for longer. So all of the people who are really actually upset about a real good woman dying, put their focus on you, you cockroach. Without a living host, you cannot exist. Without money, you're nothing. How dare you? You have full SSDI, full welfare, and you have for how many damn years? Will you brag about making 10000 a fucking month? How many girls are you running then? Because God knows no one's going to pay for your fucking pussy. How many girls did you run? We just call you Pimp now? Pimp and Michelle? You're disgusting and everybody knows you're disgusting. And you've now had all of these people who gave you the benefit of the doubt no matter what. That you're sitting there saying you need food when God knows you can't even fucking make macaroni and cheese that you get from the gas station that's in a thing and you just have to put it in the microwave yourself and bring a fucking spoon to your mouth. You go to the taco truck and drive home after you've had some margaritas. Fuck you for all of the people you put in danger and fuck you for all the people you've hurt. And thank God your stupid mouth has saved Trey from ever giving you another dollar. And let's hope to God ETN gets a hell of a wife and that she makes sure that you never do anything again. And if you do, let's hope that she pisses on your fucking grave. Knock it off on behalf of all humankind, you fucking dumb bitch.